Oh, wow. I hope you're up and awake. Because this is your uh, your birthday song. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nikki. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby girl. And I hope you have a good one. You know, I uh, I was thinking about this date coming up because it's, it's kind of important. And uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, my mom when she would, uh, when it was my birthday. She always told me the same story, and I never quite understood why she told me it. But she told me it, and she did it for a bunch of years. And uh, I thought I'd share it with you. And like I said, I don't, I don't know why she told me the story, but she always did. And apparently, when I was really young, um, she was out planting uh, tomatoes in a garden. And I was thinking about it. And we never had a garden. We never had a garden. Not not as for as long as I can remember. So it had it had to been when I was really really young, because uh, I remembered it. And the way she told the story, um, she'd get angry. And she told the story <laughs> on my birthday, and it would make her angry. But there was something about my birthday that would make her remember the story. But she was planting stra uh, uh, tomatoes in a garden, and I come by, and I ripped them all out. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know how old I was. I had to have been very, very young, because I really don't remember it, and I never have. And she told me that story forever, as long as I can remember, forever. She told me that story. And so whatever date it was, it had to do with my birthday. And it just it would just anger her. And so she would tell me the story. I don't know why she'd tell me that. I, I don't know. And just recently, when I started thinking about your birthday coming up, I started thinking about it. And I said, how, how is this related to my birthday? And why would you get angry? And why would you... Why would you think about it to make yourself angry on my birthday? I don't know. And I I, I, I never figured it out. But I, I I remember it. And so I wanted to share that with you. And I'm going to share you a story now about your birthday so that you'll have a story. I'm like, I know, I know, I'm really late. But I wanted to share this story with you. <laughs> so bear with me. So... The night before you were born, and I don't know, maybe I told you the story, I don't know, maybe you heard it, I don't know. But anyways, the night before you were born, Gary Lepard called me up and he says, do you want to go play racquetball? And uh, your mom, nine months pregnant, I said, would you mind? And she said, no. So Gary and I went up to play racquetball. And uh, we had a few drinks Back in the day, we had, well, we had a lot of drinks. <laughs> and so afterward, it was late. It was it was like 11 o'clock when I got back, and I'm half in the bag from drinking all night. Well, your mom decided, ah, oh, we got to have the baby now at like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. And we got to pack up and go. And I'm, I'm drunk on my ass-ish. And so I had to drive your mom to the hospital. We waited a little bit, but not that long. We got there, you know, late at night or toward early in the morning um, because uh, her, I, it, I don't think her water broke. Something happened, I, and my memory is going, but something happened where we had to go right away. So now that you got that, now you got that in your memory that that's, uh, that's the night before you were born. <laughs> I figured that if my mom can get angry at me for pulling up tomato plants, you can hear the story of your dad was wasted the night before you were born.
I don't know why it made me think of that, but I thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, I do hope you have a happy birthday today, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.